I mean, we can be honest, just don't be too honest. And you can be real, just don't be too real, right? Hey, it's Acacia. Welcome back to the Reflecting Redemption YouTube channel. I'm so glad you joined me today for another part in this series of surviving and thriving through your struggles. Make sure you check out our playlist link below where you can find the other videos in this series that we've made so far. We're gonna jump in today to the second part of surviving and thriving through your struggles. And last week we talked all about celebrating each other's victories and also being there for each other through the hard things. So today, we're going to focus on being vulnerable instead of isolating ourselves. This is huge in our society. We feel like we have to be all buttoned up every single day, especially in church culture. I've had a lot of conversations about this lately and how we go about the, hey, how are you today? Doing well, how are you? Doing well, good to see ya moving on. And we never really reach any deeper. Now, I understand the context of this. It's not comfortable to spill your guts right before the hymns are sung on a Sunday morning, but sometimes it is time to be honest with people and admit to your struggles because the more you isolate yourself, the more you are hurting yourself in the long run. That is what the enemy wants us to do, to just introvert and just keep it all in until we want to explode. It's important that instead of choosing isolation, we choose to be vulnerable. Vulnerability is risky. You're wearing your heart on your sleeve. You're opening up about your deepest struggles with somebody who may not understand and they may not reciprocate any feelings of empathy and they may offer you some advice that you're tired of hearing. We keep everything looking so good on the outside, but on the inside, we might be dying and it might be time to spill that out and let people know how you are feeling. When we share our struggles with each other, we create a sense of community, a sense of togetherness, and a sense of trust amongst the brothers and sisters in Christ. If we keep hiding behind our, hey, how are you? Doing fine. How are you? Good. Thanks. See you later. Then we are missing a beautiful part of having relationships as Christian siblings. In that cycle, it just repeats and repeats and repeats and our struggle grows bigger and bigger and bigger within us. And we grow more bitter, frustrated, and angry as each day passes. And nobody knows why because we won't tell them. How do we know how to pray for each other, how to be there for each other if we don't open up to each other? You can't see what's hidden behind my smile and I can't see what's hidden behind your smile. Then what are we doing here? And what are we telling the world out there? We should be living an example of empathy, sympathy, relating to each other and understanding that struggles come and that we need to be a rock for others to lean on and then they'll be a rock for us to lean on. When we keep building our walls higher and higher and keep building this image of everything's fine, everything's fine, day after day, eventually we're going to wake up and realize that we are totally isolated. But no man is meant to be an island. We're not meant to do life alone. We are supposed to have someone there for us and helping us. And those someones are our Christian brothers and sisters. Ecclesiastes 4.10 says, For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him up. God gave us the gift of community. We're there to help each other when they fall. Even if the fall is a self-inflicted fall, or if the fall is something that you had nothing to do with, but it was a life circumstance with your health or with something tragic coming into your life, if that moment of a fall comes, we need to have someone there to help us up and we need to be there to help others up out of their fall. Even more than that, the chances are if you're struggling with something, someone else is struggling with it too. So that moment when you open up and you allow yourself to be vulnerable, that's a beautiful time when they can be vulnerable as well. And what's that gonna encourage? It's gonna encourage camaraderie, prayer, 
friendship, love, all of those things are going to start to be built and fostered through our vulnerability. If we wake up and realize that we're isolated and all alone, then most likely it is because we have shut people out. We can't shut the doors on the people that are meant to care for us and love us most. Now, I will say people are going to fail you. People are not going to be as empathetic, as sympathetic, as understanding, or as loving as they're supposed to be. And you're not going to be either because none of us are perfect. That being said, there is always one that is perfectly empathetic, perfectly sympathetic, perfectly understanding, and perfectly walking in love every day. And that is the Lord. So when you feel like you just can't be vulnerable with other people yet, start by being vulnerable with God. Talk to him as if he were your best friend in the whole world because he truly is the one that loves you most and cares for you and can help you the most. And the more vulnerable we can be in our relationship with God, the more he'll strengthen us to be vulnerable with the other people in our life so that we don't strand ourselves on an island by ourselves to just be sad and alone. Let's learn to open up to the Lord and open up to each other so we can share burdens and we can share struggles and we can pray for each other and we can truly walk in the love of Christ. So that is the next way to help you survive and thrive through your struggle. Be vulnerable, not isolated. Leave some comments below and let me know what you thought of today's video and what other advice you'd have for somebody who's going through a struggle and just trying to survive it and learn how to thrive through it. Leave those comments below and thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you again in my next one. Have a great day. Bye.